Hey, how's it going guys? This is Cell 117 This is gonna be a strange topic to talk about. I originally wanted to talk about this uh, during my Ratchet & Clank video, but uh, it's like I said, with the Ratchet & Clank video, I really want to make it a, a special video, but I know how th that will work. Uh, Maybe if maybe I will talk about Ratchet and Clank, uh, how much the game meant for, how much the franchise meant to me. Uh, maybe if this channel sit, hits 500 subscribers, I do not know. But like I said, I'm not planning to make this channel uh, popular or whatever because uh, popularity is the least of my priorities, or whatever. But I try to make um, interesting content for you guys as much as possible. Now today's topic is. I'm gonna talk about the fact that I'm gonna tell you guys a story when I, when I first time I'm sorry if my hair is a mess um, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry if my hair is a mess it's a, a bit dirty because I'm saving I'm saving to saving in my washing my hair for tomorrow because tomorrow I will see go watch uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day at the theaters I'm not kidding but uh, that's that's an now that's from away from the topic but let's talk about fake ps2 games now people are gonna think i'm talking crazy talk what the fuck am i talking about uh, yada yada and for those who don't know when i first got my ps2 the only original disc i got for the ps2 was the demo disc uh, i still have it but it's in a really bad condition but it's still it is still functional surprisingly um but my dad uh my father basically bought me fake or unoriginal discs for the ps2 because uh, ps2 discs were too expensive and since our country latvia doesn't pay enough money to buy a 60 dollar game uh and considering also how expensive bills are my dad always went to a, like a like an underground pawn shop that sells ps2 games with uh oh, for only five euros now that now some people might think uh and those were not the original games those were fake discs uh, original discs and uh, even though they were functional, so sometimes they do have their ups and downs. Now, I do have a couple fake discs here. Now, what, what am I talking about? Like, fake, unoriginal PS2 games. Now, here's an example. My old Ratchet & Clank 2 PS2 disc. Um, as you can see, some, some PS2 fake discs have... Like cases, like very thin cases, like this, and the, if you and sometimes they even have age ratings that are not anything to do with that don't have the original game discs. Now, of course, not all on the on the original fake PS2 games have this, but as you guys look at the back cover, it's not the same as uh, as the original PS2 like PS2 back. Now, of course, I'm planning to someday in the future buy to buy a brand new copy, an original copy of Ratchet & Clank 2, because this copy has some like hiccups, sometimes it lags, especially during some cutscenes, and and I do hope someday I will get a brand new copy of this game. Now, what I'm talking, what else is about? What else is what else is different? Uh, with the fake with the fake PS2 discs compared to the original discs. Now I'm gonna take, like I said, uh, Ratchet and Clank. My Ratchet and Clank three or up your arsenal. Uh, depending what uh, region you live in, I live in Europe, so because of European censorship, Ratchet and Clank uh, up your arsenal is called Ratchet and Clank three here. Um, but um. With Ratchet & Clank 3, as you guys know, um, a lot of this is a gift my friend gave me. I really thank him for it uh, because we both loved the Ratchet & Clank so much. And he, during one of my birthdays, he bought the original copy of Ratchet & Clank 3 because I was really upset that my fake copy did not work anymore. And so he bought the original disc, the original copy of the game on um, at the store while well, stores still sold PS2 games, uh, brand new ones. 
Uh, they still do, but... I think in either I think in Netherlands they do, but uh, but other countries I do I don't know because uh, in Latvia you know, you can only buy used games, used copies of old games, movies, whatever, and it's kind of sucks. Uh, like I said, I really need to move out uh, someday in the future, maybe to a different country, but I'm not, I'm not making any promises. But anyways, I'm just rambling. So as you know. Original copies have the original discs. Uh, this is the platinum disc and also the manual. Okay, are you still with me? I'm sorry about the lightning. Uh, light the lightning. Uh, I'll, we have a terrible weather outside, so I apologize if if my face cam is way too dark and it's kind of lagging a bit. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind. And here is my fake and original copy of Ratchet and Clank. And as you guys see, on the original copies don't have manuals. Uh, none of them, I mean, none of them have manuals. And, and the game discs look like, I hope you guys can see, the game discs look like this. Yeah, they look like blue for some reason, and the, you can already tell these are not, uh, as you guys see, 100% tested. These are not the original discs. Now, I'm not sure if... 100% tested is on on the platinum copies. I'm I'm gonna check. No, these are original discs, and as you guys know, these are fake, uh, very cheap fake PS2 discs. These are not used discs. These are not brand new discs. Original discs. Uh, also, another comparison is uh, another comparison I can make is. Grand Theft Auto. I do have a copy of Liberty City Stories, and the reason why I keep keeping these copies is because they're still uh, working. But as you guys know, I do have the reason why I knew about why my PS2 can run NTC versions of the games because as you guys can see, uh, Ratchet and Clank uh, going Commando. Okay, I hope you guys can see it. Focus. There, you see, NTC, NTC, and I do have some fake discs there on DC versions. I do have an NTC version of, of Graft of Auto Liberty City Stories. This is a PSP game, but I my dad got th this for me because I really loved Grand Theft Auto games. For some reason, he didn't get me Vice City or 3, but... Whatever, this game is not that bad, but uh, some missions are really ridiculously hard. But uh, yeah, the, the reason why I'm keeping these is uh, these are working copies. And another comparison I want to make is Grand Theft Auto. As you guys can see, uh, fake copies, uh, stay, no manual, same old discs. Uh, the back of the box is uh, not, I d highly doubt it looks like this. Uh, on the original uh, Liberty City Stories discs, and another, and I wanted to make a comparison with my favorite Grand Theft Auto game, San Andreas. As you guys see, um, uh, a lot of PS2 games have like a really cool artwork on the discs, and when it comes to Grand Theft Auto games, here is the manual and. The and the Grand Theft Auto map, which uh, at the back of it, it looks like also a huge poster. Now, I played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas so many times that I might use the map as a poster uh, if I can, but uh, it's it's a used copy, so I'm not sure how... The, I'm really scared to break the, the map. Um, Maybe, I don't know, but overall, I'm really happy with this, but still, um, Liberty City Stories, I do have some fake copies of games, uh, don't have these, like, thin, uh, thin discs, some even have, like, the original, uh, I, I have the Ninja Turtles Battle Nexus 2, and some of them have the classic, uh, DVD bo boxes, uh, but still, um, again, the back of the box is not the same, probably not the same, definitely not the same as the original artwork, and 
And uh, here is Ninja Turtles, again, fake disc and whatever. I, some some PS2 games, like, for example, Ratchet & Clank 2, I highly doubt that this artwork was in the official games, because this is a fake copy, and some fake copies of games have different art, uh, different covers, different artworks for covers. Uh, this is probably one example. I might... Um, I will try to find... Uh, I do hope I can find it, but we shall see. I do have some fake discs in the garage because the reason why they are in the garage, I was hoping them to throw them out, but uh, they're still there for whatever reason. Um, maybe I don't know. Where, I think throwing discs out there are special places where you can throw them out, but you cannot just throw them in the in the garbage or whatever. I'm gonna try to get if I can find it. Maybe I can find Ratchet and Clank there, but uh, the first game. But uh, I will show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, I'll be right back soon. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, <laughs> um, unfortunately, I did not find the Ratchet & Clank game. Uh, I think I threw, threw the disc out or whatever. But overall, uh, as you guys know, probably know that I use fake PS2 discs. Now, of course, I will try to find... I still want to try to find the original copy of Ratchet & Clank 2. I do have the... Ratchet & Clank Trilogy on the PS3, but unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of some of the things that they did on the collection. Of course, it's still playable, it is functional, but my biggest problem, biggest gripe with Ratchet & Clank 3 Trilogy on the PS3 is that there are a lot of, like, visual glitches, and some, especially in Europe, for some reason, some of the cutscenes, especially on Ratchet & Clank 2, are not present. And I'm like, why? Like, I did digitally download uh, this game on the PS3. Uh, digitally purchased it and downloaded it on the PS3. And did notice that the digital downloads are more broken than this uh, copy of the game. And of course, they're functional, but like I said, there are a lot of visual glitches, especially during the in-game cutscenes. And uh, a lot of the cutscenes that are not in-game, uh, basically regular movies or stuff like that, not in-game cutscenes, are compressed to f with 4.3 aspect ratio, despite the fact that when you play the, like, the PS2, for example, uh, the, you can uh, change it to 16.9 or full screen uh, resolution, uh, so, so the, playing the games doesn't feel as awkward as I think. Of course, I'm still holding this game. I'm gonna... Put it back, put it back in the shelf. My deepest apologies. But overall, um, I feel like um, Ratchet. Like I feel, I feel like um, uh, the best way to play the Ratchet Clank trilogy, especially Ratchet Gladiator, uh, is on the PS2 because on the PS2 the game feels really good to play, and also it doesn't have these weird visual glitches. Like for example, in in the first Ratchet Clay game. There are moments where um, where you meet Captain Quirk in one of the planets where he, after you defeat his boss, uh, the giant ship level, and once you meet him, uh, being like the gadget drawn vendor, when he sells you the G, the the GPA or whatever it's called, uh, uh, I, I I'm not sure if I named it correctly, but it's called GPA. It basically is a tool that you could buy ammo from. Without going to the vendor, but it's but it costs you a lot more money for you to do that. But anyways, uh, during one of the cutscenes where Quark is like, and you can always trust Gadgetron quality, or my name's not Steve. And and uh, in the original game uh, on the PS2 version, uh, Quark's eyes are normal. But in the like the HD collection, his eyes turn completely white, m making him look really creepy. And I'm like, dude, what the hell? My biggest uh, my biggest issue is with the HD collection, especially with, is with Ratchet and Clank uh, going commando and up your arsenal. And that is definitely the Ratchet's helmet floating above his head. And some of the cutscenes, uh, especially in Ratchet Clank Three, where Ratchet talks to Evil Clank during. Uh, when, once you enter the Metropolis planet, his helmet just compl is completely gone uh, when you talk to him, uh, when you 
when the fairy sees Ratchet to the screen, which should not be happening, because in the original game, uh, the, the helmet still stays on, and it, it's not floating above your head. It's already started! Dr. Nefarious must be around here somewhere! You sure everything's okay, Clank? Maybe Alice should take a look at your circuitry. I feel like, uh... It's not a bad HD port for for me personally, but I feel like uh, it's like a bad. Like, but sometimes it's just no man. I rather play the original game, the original Ratchet Clank games on the PS2. But overall, I'm just rambling about uh, some of the things I don't like, especially when it comes to my favorite gaming series. And uh, yeah, but that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope you guys liked my. Fake, fake PS2 collection, and yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day, um, and this is Salmon with 7 signing off.